Hey guys, I have a poodle feet tutorial for you today. Um, my friend Amanda just got a new poodle puppy, and if you haven't already, check out her blog. It's Doxanola. It's awesome. She's got a lot of great stuff on there. Now, um, this is obviously not a poodle, but she is a good girl, and um, I'm not actually going to be shaving her feet on the top like you would a poodle, but I am going to show the technique, and I'm going to show I'm going to shave her pads out so that you'll be able to see that. And anyways, I will put the link to Amanda's blog in the description below. Hope you like the tutorial. And this is Zoe, and she is a very good demo dog. See you guys later. When you do poodle feet, there's several blades you can choose from. I usually recommend a number 10 for pet people just starting out. So you can see that it's a little rusty, it's an old blade. So this is a number 10. This is a very safe blade to start using. And um, I just really recommend it. So you turn your clipper on, put the blade on here, snap it on. Okay, this is a safe blade. You're not gonna cut yourself. I'm pushing it right into my skin, and I'm fine. No blood, barely a mark, doesn't hurt. Not gonna cut yourself or the dog. A lot of people also like to use 15s um, and 30s and 40s and 50s. The show people use 50s generally. I don't recommend a 40 or a 50 for a pet person for starting out. You could use a 30, but you need to use a very light hand because a 30 will nick a dog and it's not fun when that happens. A 15 is pretty close to a 10 and it's not gonna hurt a dog. They also make these weird little toe blade things. So this is a toe blade. And as you can see, it's a lot shorter than the other blade. So these are these two. But if you're gonna have a standard poodle, you don't really need this because the poodle puppy's gonna grow up and it's a waste of money, in my opinion. Unless you have a teacup poodle, then sure. So as you can see, the 40, is a lot shorter than a 10. A 30, it's kind of hard to tell, but so I can see that. So I do recommend this blade here for anyone starting out shaving their dog's feet. So the first thing I would recommend doing is letting the dog get used to the clippers. If you have a dog that's not used to the clippers, it's not gonna be fun. So what I do is I turn on, let him sniff, give him a treat. Good girl. The other thing you can do is put the clipper near the dog, let them get used to the vibration without a blade. You don't want a blade on yet because the blades are noisy. So I'm just letting her get used to the vibration. We haven't done this in a while. And I'm gonna feed a treat. Good girl. Okay, so the next thing you do is you wanna put a blade on there. Same thing. You get her used to it. She didn't like grooming, so she's got that face. Don't mind her. Okay. Okay. So I start by putting my finger in her paw like this and I spread her toes you can't see because she's so I spread her toes and I scoop so you want to scoop from here and then you turn the clipper around and scoop in here then you go up across the nail and you want to stop the poodle feet right above where the paws where their split is. So here's the split there. You want to stop it right at that bone right there. Right in the middle of the foot. You don't want to go up to the ankle because then it looks kind of weird. So don't go all the way up to the dew claw. You just want to scoop the foot till about here. If you can see that. So then you spread the toes again. And you shave. I'm not going to shave because I don't want poodle feet on this dog. But you scoop with the corner of your blade right against the nail and you scoop 
because you can see that she has a webbing in there and you want to make sure you don't nick that webbing and you use a very light hand when you're doing this and it's tickly she's not used to it she's not a poodle easy it's okay you do that on each one so each time you put your finger underneath and spread and shave Okay, so now we're gonna do the back side of the paw. Here's her paw. Let's see if I can get you a little closer. Here's her paw. And you can see, let's see if you can see, wiggling around. There you go. See how the paw is a V shape? You want to also shave in a V shape. You stick your clippers in at an angle. So I'll show you, I'll actually shave this. So I do right here like this first, and then I scoop in and scoop in like that with the very corners of my blade. I'm not using a lot of pressure. And see it tickles, so she kind of doesn't like it. but. That's what it looks like when it's done. And you can see I didn't take that much hair off, but it just cleans it up a little. I'm gonna show you on the other paw too. So here's the paw. And take the hair off between the toes. And if you're doing a poodle foot, you can also spread the feet this way and go in and then go in on this side. And go in on this side. There's some um, sap there, so I'll show it off. You go on in on that side. And then again, a V. Scooping. Nice scooping motion. Okay, good girl. Now she gets her keys. Stays on. There we go. Okay, so back foot. She's got a lot of sap here, so it might take some work to get it out. You want to do this really gently. Their feet can tend to be pretty sensitive. The back foot, again with the poodle feet, spread it. You put, I usually use my middle finger and I just kind of stick it in there and I just scoop. Scoop. Easy, it's okay. Good girl. And there we go, sap's done. And like a V again. Scoop. And scoop. Just like that. Here's the last one. No sap there. So. Turn the clipper around and do that way too. Easy. Okay. There's a piece of sap in there, so I'm gonna do the poodle V thing. And the poodle scooping. Poodle foot thing, I mean. And there you have it. Alright guys, that was my tutorial on how to do poodle feet on a non-poodle. You can use this for poodles, cockers, shih tzus, short-haired dogs that have get sap in their feet or have feet problems. Um, anytime you need to just remove the hair, it's how you do it. Anyways, I hope you have a great day and I'll be seeing you guys later.